Hey guys, it's Sir Agent Zero, and today I have a gameplay on the map Hijack, playing some free for all using the B23R secondary. And today I want to talk about the weapon balance in Black Ops 2. Uh, sit down, shut up, and enjoy the video. Cue the intro. In this gameplay, this was the very first time I played FFA in Black Ops 2. The reason I'm playing FFA now is because about 99% of the time I'm playing Black Ops 2, I'm solo. And I just hate playing ground war against full parties and it's just annoying. So I'm going over to free for all where the majority of the time it's everyone's solo. They're all by themselves. And to be quite frank, like to be real with you guys they're noobs like everyone in ffa they're terrible like for real i'm beating these guys every time and it's not like i'm very good or anything i'm an average player but i'm winning every time i'm getting insane gameplays and it's awesome um, i'm really enjoying free for all and the main reason i'm playing free for all now my friend phenomenon received a couple shout outs and his channel has blown up lately and um i've his videos and other uh, YouTubers videos of free-for-all have got me into free-for-all I'm starting to move over to free-for-all more than any other game mode I'm still playing my normal domination and kill confirmed but I'm you know just moving over to free-for-all a little bit anyways I want to get into my commentary today and that's the weapon balance in Black Ops 2 now the thing with Black Ops 2 it's a little bit different than the other Call of Duties now mainly in Call of Duty the assault rifles were the most powerful guns, and it would be the SMGs, and then, you know, maybe you got a couple of shoddies and uh, snipers that are really good, and so on and so on. But in Black Ops 2, it's different. The submachine guns are by far the most powerful guns in the game. And honestly, I think that's better than having assault rifles being more powerful. The reason for that is SMGs are meant for rushing, and if they're the more powerful guns out there, that's going to you know benefit the rushers and that's gonna you know make people rush more you know and um, I know it's annoying when you're running around and then a kid in the corner with like a PDW kills you or whatever I know I hate it too it makes me rage it makes me want to slap that kid and um, I say kid because it's usually 12 year old prepubescent little kids fresh out of kindergarten playing their games and they're just sitting in corners and it's annoying and it's ruining my kill streaks and I just want to slap a kid and I just hate it when that happens and I wish no one was sitting in corners and I just want to slap something really badly right now and I'm back to my normal self I think you know it just makes me rage corner campers head glitches with target finders I just hate that a lot anyways back on topic I kind of went on a rampage right there <laughs> anyways the weapon balance also, another thing that's been more powerful in Black Ops 2 than anything else, and than any other Call of Duty, is the pistols. For real, like, the pistols. Can you believe that? Every pistol is pretty strong. Like, you can win any FFA match with these pistols. Heck, I just won an FFA with the B23R, and this was my first FFA match in Black Ops 2. Like, that was insane. When I was playing, I'm like, wow, this is really powerful. Um, by far, the B23R, in my opinion, is the best. The second best is the TAC. 40 or something like that and um they're all just equally powerful after that and to be honest i'm getting outgunned by pistols now it's insane i'm using like an msmc then this kid with dual b23 r's are killing me and it's just weird you know and honestly i don't think it's a good thing it's not a bad thing either it's pistols are meant for to be what it's are it's a secondary pistols are meant to be your backup to your other weapon and if I'm getting outgunned, you know, it's kind of annoying, but no big deal, whatever. Uh, I don't see it too much out there. The assault rifles, yeah, they're good, but you're at a disadvantage. Um, you move slower when you're aiming down sights. You know, fire rate's pretty slow. You know, just the little things, except for the FAL. Everyone knows. Everyone's been in a lobby where there's a kid with an FAL with target finder stock, and they're just head glitching, and it's very annoying. Uh, the other day, this kid had an FAL on the other team. And, of course, when he calls in his care package, he got a swarm. And I was just so mad. I backed out. I 
threw my controller down. I screamed. I shouted. I punched a hole through a wall. Then I went to my neighbor's house and punched a hole through his wall, and I was just raging. Um, but yeah, the assault rifles, excluding the FAL, have a little bit more of a disadvantage. Um, the shotguns, they're pr uh, pretty powerful too, um, you know, but just there's two of them, the S12 and the M1216. If you use them and you're up against like an SMG assault rifle or heck, even these pistols, again, you're less likely to get the kill. The snipers, um, they seem to be one-shot kills, except for the ballista. You're just going to get hit marker after hit marker with that thing. If you use it properly, you're not going to get as much hit markers, but still, it's not consistent. And uh, the LMGs, I don't even touch those. I don't like them. I move too slow. The reload takes 20 seconds. You know, I just don't touch the LMGs. So, honestly, the weapon balance compared to MW3 is at par, you know. You can't really complain about one particular gun. If you like the video, drop a like. If you like me, subscribe. If you have anything to say, leave it down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and have a good day. See you next time, guys. Bye.